hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. We're heading back into Bianco Hills right now for the fourth shine of it, known as Red Coins of Windmill Village. Uh, there's a lot of red coin missions in this game, so if you hated the red coin missions in other Mario games, you are really, really gonna hate this game, because there's a lot of red coin missions. As I just said, I didn't have to repeat myself there. Oh, I should also add that, remember I said I, that you could combine your powers, I should say combine your squirts with uh, your moves? But here's another one for you, if you squirt the ground and then slide into that squirt, like, I was gonna say, like this, you'll see that you get some like water, uh, well, I gotta do it on some flat land to really show you how it works. And, oh, I missed the rope, the curses! Okay, now I'm going to show it to you right here. All you have to do is just squirt the land, and you'll be able to kind of like slide across the land a lot smoother without having to repeatedly press the B button like this to gain momentum. Uh, that's just a little game stir tip for you there. And as the mission number states, the, ob the objective is to collect the red coins of the village. There's eight of them, there's always eight red coins. So, let's get to collecting them. The first one is an introductory to collecting red coins, of course, so it's not going to be hard at all. So, just follow this little path that I'm taking here, and you should be just fine. Oh, I should add that those X's, X's, O's, and triangles painted on things will also give you red coins. Uh, not red coins, will give you blue coins, excuse me. Uh, but, as I said, not going to cover them until later, just because of organization. Oh, fuck. Curses! Ow. Why did I take damage from there? I didn't fall from fall from too high down. I, I have an angle, dang it. And, oh, uh, that box right there is something that I can unlock later called the Rocket Nozzle. Uh, maybe, I don't know if I can unlock it in this mission. Um, you'll notice that these box, you'll see these boxes around this area. Come on, let me up. There we go. Um, the blue ones give you hover nozzles. The red ones give you rocket nozzles, which lets you go high into the, into the air. And the gray ones give you uh, boost nozzles, if I'm not mistaken, they're called, or... No, no wait, that's not the name. Ah, the, I don't know, I never know the names of things. I'm not the detail guy, I'm the gameplay guy. And those wind enemies, you can't do anything about them except for avoid them. And there's two more red coins there, as you've seen. Ooh, don't want to collect the blue coin just yet. So I'm going to safely drop down here and look for more red coins. I believe there's um, one on top of that building there. Oh, there, these, these enemies right here are weird. They're like these little piggy enemy things. And whenever you try to squirt water, they... They try to get, or I should say, when you, whenever you have the squirt nozzle out, they attach to your nozzle like this, and then you can fill them up with water like that and shoot them out. Yeah. Woo! Uh, they're really weird. <laughs> if you ever um, hold them onto your nozzle as you're filling them up with water for too long, they will pop, and you can't use them. But you'll need them for a mission later on. Anyway, I'm going to try and get you to... Yay! Oh, 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 I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> oh, shoot, why do I keep switching nozzles? It's just such a force of habit for me to, like, save myself with the hover nozzle. But it's... Uh, what's wrong with me? Curses. I thought it was because this was going to go smoothly. <laughs> Come on, grab on the ledge. There we go, Mario. I knew you could do it. And there should be a red coin. Ow, I didn't see you there. I thought you were somewhere else. Oh, there's a blue coin there. I, I know there's a red coin up on top of one of these things, so I'm gonna wall jump here. I can I mean, I should say I could dem now demonstrate the wall jump. Whenever you see a, a wall, just push the control stick in that direction, and, and then press the jump button, you'll be able to jump right off of it. And up here is the final red coin, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, wait, what? Or wait, maybe this is where the shiny <laughs> appears. Hmm. Oh, wait, there is the last red coin. I forgot to get it over there. Dang it! Urgh! All my skill in this game is completely gone, and I forgot where the coins are. It's just a disaster zone, but that's okay. <laughs> it probably makes you guys happy to see me fail. So, let's go back and climb up there to get the shine where I just was. Oh, and to prevent damage when you're falling from a high place, just do a ground pound and you'll be perfectly safe. Um, and I'm kind of running low on water here, but I should have enough to get up there safely. Um, you'll notice that there's these electric 
<sighs> you'll notice that there's these electric enemies that can knock you off. Not not if you make yourself fall off accidentally, of course, but they, they can knock you off, so there's something to uh, look out for. And there we go. I knew I could do it eventually. Good boy, PK Gam. And I'm really running low on water, but that's okay. There's the shine. And I forgot again. <laughs> There's another event once you get five shine sprites. This will unlock a place known as Delfino Beach once you get rid of that goopy piranha. So I might as well get rid of it right away as well. So you just go along this path here. And yeah, that's really about it. And it's Goopy Piranha. All you have to do is... Oh, there's a toad here you can rescue here. Which somehow got trapped in this loop here. Oh, I can't save him until I kill Goopy Piranha there, so... Here we go! What the heck is up with this camera angle? I can't change it around. That reminds me, you can also change your camera angle around with the C stick. But that should be kind of obvious in a way. C camera angle. It's always been the C button or C stick for the camera angles in uh, uh, 3D platform games on Nintendo systems. And there, it's Scoopy Piranha, so... <sighs> Again. I think this is like the last Scoopy Piranha battle for a while, though, if I'm not mistaken, so... After this, I shouldn't have to worry about it. Yeah, it's gonna... It's gonna pretend that it's dead again after three hits, just like before. And, uh, oh, this time it gave a bunch of those paint like critters uh, to kill. Instead of just like them spawning on their own out of that goop. Yeah, that that's how those things spawn out of that paint goop. And doop! that's it. And magically, a lighthouse will appear from this. How? Just how does that work? You go away. And you'll notice this toad here, this poor little toad here, he's all goopy, his paint all over his face, and uh, he'll be quite pleased if you clean him off, and he'll be like, THANKS MARIO! And that's really all he does there. I'm just being a good citizen there. Well, anyway, let's go back over to Bianco Hills, and do another shine in this part, where we're gonna meet up with Petey Prana once again. Yeah, another rehash of a boss. But it's a little bit different this time. So, PD Piranha strikes back, and for some reason, well, I should say he gooped up the whole village for some reason. And he's now sleeping happily over there, which we gotta go take care of. You don't have to clean up the village, but I would recommend that you do so on the way there, uh, just so you have some room to work with, so to speak. Uh, well, maybe I'll do it during the battle. Because, still, you know, just to save time on this part. And now all you have to do to get up there is climb up. So wait, can I get the rocket nozzle? Well, I'll get the rocket nozzle later. I think I can only get the rocket nozzle in, like, Mission 8 or something like that. Uh, I, I know I can have to get the, uh, 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 I forgot the name of the other nozzle, the one in the gray box. Well, anyway, get one of these little piggy creatures on your uh, flood, spray it with water, and shoot it at PD Fron over there. It's best to do this in first person mode, so you can, like, really aim. I just hit the fence, so you can really angle your shot there, but it's possible to do it outside of first person mode there. Uh, come on, little piggies, wherever the heck you are. And come on now, come on. You have to hit PD Piranha with this, basically. Oh, come on, man! That... This is ridiculous. Oh. <laughs> there we go! And now that wakes him up. Let the boss battle music start! And what you have to do is spray him in the mouth once it's open. Uh, so, just wait for him to open his mouth. I believe you can... Nope. Has no effect on Well, I gotta shoot it out of the sky. But anyway, yeah, what, you have to get it out of the sky first and then um, spray its mouth. Yeah, there's some piranha plant critters. His signature piranha baby guys there. Uh, that little 
major area here. I should say, try and stop you from try and stop you from hurting the ground and then maybe I should just do a do a triple jump to get up here. It seems a lot safer than yeah. It's a lot easier to get up here than that other area. Yeah, I'd like to find out where Petey Piranha is. Okay, oh there he is. Come on, don't go over there. Camera. Oh, he, never mind. He got he he fell down. There we go. And now it's just normal piranha battle there, except that he's got that tornado attack, but that doesn't really do anything, as you can see. And you'll notice that these piggies are in your way now. And yeah, that's the trick of this battle too, is that these piggies will be in your way. So clear them out as well. Um, just make sure you clear them out with facing over there, so when he opens his mouth, um, you'll be just right there waiting to spray in his mouth like that. So, there we go. And now you can just hurt him like you did before, by ground pounding his Audi nipple. I just said nipple. His Audi navel, excuse me. And now I'm going to go back up there, because he's going to start flying again, and I have to shoot him down. So, one, two, triple jump! Up to the top for the win. And gotta find his next position. Curse this camera. I should say, curse my not knowing where he is, too. But I, I don't, it's like the buildings get in the way and stuff like that. Oh, he's way over there, dang it. Uh, I might have to refill my H2O in here. What, what? I got him, I got him! I should say, you're refill my H2O soon. Oh, no, I don't think so. No, 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 You're not going to spray your... Okay, you're going to spray your goop. Don't you... You flew back up... Dang it! Uh, I got a triple jump back up there again. I decided to go over to this platform this time, since he's not co cooperating. Now he's, like, way over there, dang it. But he's sticking around this area, so... This is probably a good place to get him. Um, there we go! Finally! And now I gotta prepare myself to shoot him in his mouth like that. I do not want him to fly back up. This is only hit two as well, so... Oh, man. There we go. Number two it is, and I only need to do it one more time. But dang it, this is taking way longer than I wanted to. But hey, you never expect these things in a walkthrough. They just happen, so you just have to push through them and then use cuts. <laughs> I'm, I'm inevitably going to be using cuts here, because I'm just having so much issue getting him to do what I want. Okay, I'm back over here. Oh, I got him this time! I got him this time! Oh, he just happens to be inside this loop here. Of course. Oh, no, 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 no! I'm, I'm filling your belly with water, so that you can't fly up, or at least just a little bit of water. You gotta, you gotta notice something here, or you gotta, I mean, isn't it weird how Flood just seems to have so much water in such a little tank? It's amazing! And how could Mario carry so much water anyway? It's, it's magical! But I'm questioning the game logic, which I shouldn't be, so I'm just gonna accept it and say, shoot. And I didn't even notice that there. And just say that uh, it could happen in real life just so the universe doesn't happen. Stop doing that tornado attack, it's just annoying. Just open your mouth so I can squirt it. There we go. What was that? I was squirting it the whole time. It's, you know, when you squirt it in, in Petey Prana's mouth, if, you, if it ever detects that you stop squirting into it, like if, if it detects that there's a stop in the water flow, he'll immediately close his mouth. But there was no stop in the water flow. In fact, I angled my shot into his mouth, so what the heck is that? So, uh, how's it going? <laughs> Come on! Just do... <sighs> Why won't you cooperate with me, Petey? Shit! That's like five tornadoes in a row. What, when are you going to... <sighs> Any day now, man. Is he stuck in this? Is he stuck in some sort of loop or something? And I'm gonna have to read this mission. I seriously hope not. Oh, okay. <laughs> that would really suck after how long it took me for this. Well, anyway, 
PD Prana is once again dead. Well, somehow he can die twice. I guess he got an extra life mushroom or something the first time, and he once again dissolved into a disgusting mess. And the Shine Sprite appears far away from me for some reason, instead of just appearing where it could be in a convenient spot. But there's the Shine, finally! And that's all for this part. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part.